Oh, what was that? Wiring mask. Oh no, what just fell in the bucket? This is my 2002 Ford Excursion with a 7.3 liter diesel in it. That's right, diesel. The build-off car is getting a diesel and it's not a Cummins. In the last video, I'll put a link up here. We got it running. <laughs> I was super stoked about that. Now we gotta get this thing stripped out of here and make sure it still starts on the other end of the project. That way when we get this out and set in the new car, hopefully she still wants to run and drive. That's the hope, we'll see what comes of it. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling now and we're gonna start stripping the body down here. Yeah, we're gonna start with the fenders. Oh, look, it even says Power Stroke right there. Diesel, V8. Uh, we're slowly getting her taken apart here. I ran into a little snag. The... It's one of them things. I'm trying to get the intercooler out. To get the intercooler out, I technically think I have to take the radiator out. To get the radiator out, I gotta take the shroud off the radiator. To get the shroud off the radiator, I gotta take the fan off the motor. So, it's what we call a snowball effect. But I think once we get the fan off the motor, everything else will just fall right out. At least that's what I'm telling myself. We'll see if it happens or not. And this one looks like it's been off before. It even looks like it's got an aftermarket radiator in here. That looks like a nice aluminum radiator. We're just gonna take the old air chisel here and hammer on the nut until she moves. She's not moving. We should be able to put the adjust the hammer on here and get this thing out of here. That's that's definitely not open far enough. Why don't they make a pneumatic one of these or even a battery operated adjustable wrench? Ah oh yeah, beautiful. Whoa. Ow! That freaking hurt. I got three piles going here. A keep pile, a garbage pile, and a scrap pile. I'm running out of room though, so it's gonna end up being just one large pile. There's some cooler lines that go into this uh, radiator. I think they're for the transmission. I was gonna go through the effort and try and undo them nicely and remove them. If you watch my startup video, you see me had a mess all over the floor. Those are the very same lines that are leaking that are in the radiator. And they're leaking because now that I can see them, they're so corroded and rusted, as soon as it started up, it put pressure to the line and <laughs> spit it all over the floor. So we can just cut those. I would grab the camera and bring it down and show what I'm doing, but it's, I mean, it's starting to look like a murder scene down there right now, and I don't want to touch anything that I don't have to. Oh, that's completely missing the bucket. That's freaking awesome. Got it. We've only got a, a big mess down here. All right, well, let's come out now. Oh no, what just fell in the bucket? Sure hope it wasn't my phone. I don't know what went in the bucket. That's just dumb. Get out of there! Uh, well, went in the bucket. 
<sighs> well, at least those won't probably rust now. Yeah. Yummy. What do we do now? Is it lunchtime? No. Guess we'll keep working. Damn, that's a big bitch. We're starting to whittle the front end on here. You know, we got her removed. I think I'm actually gonna cut this section of the body out. It's all joined together. This is joined to this, which is joined to the cab. And for future part of the project, I think I'm just gonna slice this piece out of here because it's got all the radiator mounts, the intercooler mounts, everything's all encompassed in this. If I don't use it, I'm out a little time of cutting it out. If I do use it, it saves me so much work of making all that stuff in the new car. Little forethought goes a long way sometimes and I'm hoping this is gonna pay off because I can just, I can just cut this right down here on both sides. I can shrink it down once I'm getting ready to put it in the car and we'll make it use and it'll have all my mounts I need to mount everything. So that's what we're gonna do there. I'm gonna start stripping all the stuff off the fender. Well, this would be like the inner fender structure. I don't know what you call it. So we're gonna gut everything off of this and we're gonna cut this off. I'm just gonna keep cutting it. I, mean, I don't need to save the body, so who cares, right? Just We're just gonna start cutting it down and whittling it down so it's manageable for me. In my two car garage by myself, Hopefully I got a couple buddies that'll come help me when I get ready to take the body off because that thing looks, that looks heavy. This is the first time I've looked at a motor and thought, ooh, is this a bad idea? But we're gonna do it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna start on this fender, strip what I need off of there, get the battery out of there, the washer fluid container, you know, all that garbage you see there. And go from there. Is it lunchtime yet? Nope, still not lunchtime. Damn it. That was messier than it probably needed to be. The brake fluid is draining out of the reservoir. The ABS module is disconnected. Sure hope I don't need that mess of wiring for uh, the transmission to work. We'll look into that later though. But now it is time for lunch. You may have noticed I started labeling some of these wires. They're like for the horn, the vacuum pump, the four wheel drive actuator, module thingamabob or whatchamacallit. I know right now today, I don't need those to make this thing run. The reason I'm labeling them, and you might want to do the same thing, is when I start whittling this harness down even further, I don't have to go back and try and backtrack what these wires were cut off of, what these plugs were for, if I'm troubleshooting anything, they're already labeled so I can just eliminate them from my troubleshooting equation. Uh, my goal is to hopefully just wipe them out completely, but I want to do one step at a time, so we're just going to keep going with this process for now. This AC stuff is really just in the way everywhere, so we're going to whittle that down. There's just too much in the way. It's got to go. I've got a lot of things stripped off of this now. It doesn't look like it, but I really do. Uh, this whole harness from like here out, I probably could just go and snip off of there, but I'll do it the right way and rip it apart and pull the wires I know I need. I'm pretty sure it'll run without any of that hooked up and we're gonna find out. I did put one battery back on. I ratcheted it strap into place so it doesn't fall off because that's my luck. We'll see if she's got enough oomph with just one battery to pop off here. I cycled the key about three or four times. It's still telling me my doors are open for some reason. Not really sure what's going on there. Here we go. Negative Ghost Rider, not even any smoke. I hope I didn't wreck something. 
nothing. Why nothing? What am I missing? I didn't disconnect anything. All I did was take the radiator stuff out. You know what? I've got grounds disconnected. Like here, here's a ground for instance. Here's another ground. So maybe we need to hook some of these grounds back up. Let's try that. I might have to start searching for all the rest of the grounds I took off because I don't know where they all are. But I found this one, so we're gonna start with this one. Oh, we got sounds happening now. And I'm gonna disconnect the battery so I don't screw that computer up because I've heard horror stories about that. So I literally just went over there. I already lost the bolt. I just had, this isn't the bolt, but it's gonna work. I'm such a scatterbrain. Oh yeah. We just cross-threaded that bitch right in there. It means that we're gonna try to turn this thing over without any success. We're gonna hook the charger up just to make sure everything's good. Now let's see what we got cooking. As a bonus, I forgot to plug my computer in last night, so that's dead too. Uh, still nothing, and now the computer needs an update, so we're, we're right on track. Oh, these are grounds too, I think. I probably should hook these up. Yeah, let's hook that up. Where the hell am I gonna hook those up now? Right frickin' there. done doing dumb updates. No, no it's not. 20% done. Why doesn't it want to start? I haven't disconnected anything. I don't think. Okay, that's great. That's just, I kind of forgot about the trans cooler line situation. So we start, we still start. Get some air in here so I don't do that asphyxiation friction thing. I truly don't know where to go from here. I obviously need to strip the wiring down some more, and I'm well aware of that. I just don't know if I should start stripping more down in here or stripping more down in there. I'm just gonna keep taking this thing apart until all that's left is basically the wiring so it runs, and then I'm just gonna get rid of the rest. I'm not sure if this is the way we're supposed to do it. It is definitely the way we're gonna do it. I ain't gonna lie though, I've spent the last day and a half out here getting this thing running and stripping it down and it looks like I've done nothing. There's just so much garbage to take off of this thing. Uh-oh. I don't know what that was. Oops. I don't know what the, I really don't know. These won't come out. I don't know what it is. We're shutting the battery off. That's what we call, we'll deal with it later. Why is this going so miserable? Why are you fighting me? Now the tape's fighting me. Is it time to give up for the day? Are we getting to that point? get laid on my shards of glass here. One stinking screw is holding me up here, I think. Ah, gotcha. I'm well aware this is probably not the Ford approved method. But I don't care. was all so I could put this switch panel through here so I don't have to unplug them. Yeah. 
pretty sure most of this is designed to be taken off once the dash is removed. So I'm skipping that step. Wow, do we have a wiring mess of a nightmare here. Uh, it's probably not as bad as it looks, or it is exactly as bad as it looks. I'm not really sure. This is probably the first time I've second guessed my plan here. It would have been a whole lot easier just to keep moving forward and put a small block Chevy in that thing and let her, and let her rock. It would have been a whole lot easier. I'm sticking to my plan. I still like this plan. It just sucks. It just freaking sucks. Before I went and ripped that steel structure for the dashboard out, I did have it still starting and running and everything. So the PCM's mounted in over here. I haven't even got that off yet. Um, that's still there. There's just so much wiring. I don't even know what this is. Uh, I no clue. Not maybe it's the body control module. Do these have them? I don't know. I mean, what is this thing? I don't. I don't know. What a freaking mess. I don't. I don't even know where. I don't know where to start. That's what a 2002 Ford Excursion looks like with no wiring or dash in it. In case you were wondering, I think we got this all about ready for the body to remove itself from the equation. Uh, I went through and vacuumed all the glass up as much as I could and there's still, there's, I mean, there's still more, there's more. I mean, there's just glass, there's glass everywhere. But I did my part to try and contain it a little bit. I don't want it spread completely all over my garage, but it's, I'm not gonna try and I'm I'm not gonna try and peel all that off of there. No, that's a that's a no go for this guy. That body mount bolt snapped off. That one I had to cut out around it with the sawzall, but now my sawzall is dead. This body mount snapped off. This one is just spinning the whole mount. So I'm gonna take the old buzz wheel here and just nah, 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 open that up a little bit. We'll get the torch in there. Maybe I can just get the torch in there just the way it is. I'm gonna just torch the head off of that one, maybe. I don't know what the best option is. It's really not in a good spot. Yeah, we're gonna open that up a little bit. That way, we don't have any of the explosiveness coming out of there, because there's not a lot of volume in there, and flames, and fire, and uh, Yeah, so we're gonna do that. Everything else is disconnected from the motor and the frame that's connected to the body. I did end up cutting some wires of finally. These, wire, these, motor, these wires go to the wiper motor, which I got frustrated trying to get at, so I just cut the wires. I am 85% sure I don't need those wires. But I think the plan is I went and kind of cleaned up my mess here, took the old Ford, pushed her to the side. I'm gonna try and shimmy this back a little bit and then just flop it off onto its side and then just drag it out. I don't know if it's gonna work. Be real honest with you, I don't know if it's gonna work. But we're gonna give her all. Oh, that's awesome. My my tripod is now a bipod. That's super helpful. So we gotta fix that before we can go any farther. And then we'll get that body mount cut out of there. Then we'll get the body off. And then we'll be left with the frame. And then I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! Gotta lie, this body mount system is one of Ford's dumber ideas, and they've had a lot of dumb ideas. But we're free, that's all that really matters. All four corners. Well, yep, that's the wrong direction, but we're free. We don't want to go this way, we're gonna go that way. It's gonna take a little rat rod ingenuity to get this thing up and over in that way. I might need to enlist some help, maybe, or we'll try without help. I should probably get some help.
sure I got all the wiring out of the way. I'm 75% sure I got all the wiring out of the way. This is a lot of work to get a motor out. I'm just gonna say that right now. Just like that, it's off. I gotta get to the front door. Yeah, find All right, folks, here it is. Completely stripped down to just a motor and a frame and some axles. I got a trail of glass shards across my floor now. I gotta get cleaned up, but that's minor. We just won't let the dogs out here. I don't know where we go from here. Uh, I think we just get the thing out, just get the pig out, just get it out. It, do, it, don't need, it doesn't need to be in here anymore. I would like to prove that I can get the thing running again. Set it all up, get it running, strip the harness as I go and just kind of chip away at it because there's a lot of wiring I don't need. A lot. Mind you, there's a lot of wiring I do need. Wow, look at that engine. That thing is going to look spectacular sticking out of the hood of that car. We still got to get some wiring out of here. It kind of connects there and runs to the back, you know, for tail lights and fuel sending units. I don't know what else it would probably be. Trailer brakes, maybe. I don't know. This plug comes from there. I don't know. I don't know what's what. Now I'm at the point. Oh, look, there's not even a front drive shaft in here. I didn't even notice that. I'm super observant. Doesn't matter to me, though, because I got to figure out whether I'm going to convert this trans to a two-wheel drive, buy a different two-wheel drive transmission, or what I'm going to do there yet. That budget really limits a lot of things, and... Well, quite frankly, I just want a running, driving car at this stage. We'll keep the drive shaft because that's good spare parts. I don't know if I'll use it or not. It's just got a big old dent in it. I suppose that happens when you when you roll it over. That can happen. But that does... I don't know if that's when that happened. I'm just... I, it probably did. Oh, yeah. This is a wiring mess. But as much of a mess as it looks, I actually have a kind of organized and sorted and everything marked. So we should be fine. I don't know. Probably not. But I'm going to hope so. Uh, I just, I'm just feeling relieved and overwhelmed all at the same time. Is that even possible? Apparently it must be. That's where we are with that. The next day. Ah, yeah, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, folks. This motor is freaking heavy. I've got the chassis on dollies. It bent one of my dollies. That's a good sign. Uh, we got the motor hooked up. I tried hooking it up and having the chain hooked around the transmission too, but that didn't seem to be working. So we're just gonna kind of pick her up once and see how she wants to handle it and go from there. Uh, as I really don't know, maybe I'll just wrap that chain around it. I got a ratchet strap. I could probably ratchet strap from there to there to help bring that up with it. I don't know. Original plan, I was gonna try and hook it onto that. My two ton chain hoist on the motor and my cherry picker on the transmission and lift the unit up together. Kind of the same way I did the body. However, logistically, I cannot make that happen. We're gonna just see what happens if we try this, cause I don't know. You can tell by my tone, I'm a little unsure of this whole process, but we're gonna go, we're gonna do it anyways. No is not an option. We have to get this motor out. I'm 90% sure I got everything disconnected. All right, we're about out. Correction, we are out. But we are only lifting the motor, which is a, that's a problem. Nothing about this is safe. If I disconnect the T-case, that at least takes all that weight off of it. I don't need the T-case for anything anyways. So okay. then that brings the leverage back to here. Okay. So maybe that's what I do. Hey folks, Simon here, Rat Rod Garage. Appreciate you watching my video. If you can help the channel out and like the video and subscribe, maybe comment and share it, that'd be, that'd be awesome too. Either way, I appreciate you watching it, so thanks for that. I am getting way 
way too dirty today. That was not the plan. It was just supposed to be simple, get the motor out, put it on the ground, get this garbage out of my garage. Nothing ever goes to plan. Whoa. Ooh, I forgot something here. Oh, fuel lines. Damn it. Yeah, uh, did I? What do I do? What do I do? I mean, the amount of crap on this thing, and that's what I forgot. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Is that everything? Oh, no. Block heater. Forgot the block heater. Now is it everything? Everything looks free on this side. And now, if we can go high enough, we'll be golden. That shock tower is really in the way. Look how high that thing is. Oh, we're getting lucky. Ooh. I'm not gonna be able to lift it high enough to get over that shock tower. Can we pull it back past it? We can, we can, we cannot, we cannot. How about this, can we, this without killing myself? No, no, we cannot either. Oh, what was that? Everything's probably fine. <sighs> to say I'm nervous is a bit of an understatement right now. Oh, I think we're off the frame. Jeez, it's trying to kill me. Picture for Instagram. Holy crap, we got her, folks. We got her. That is a lot of weight hanging up there. We're gonna bring her down a lot now. And that is how you easily remove a 7.3 liter turbo diesel and transmission from a 2002 Ford Excursion. It's super easy, anybody can do this. Whether they should or not is a whole nother question. But it's out, now I don't know where. We gotta get this out of here, we gotta get this thing running now. That's a whole nother video, it's fine. Know anybody that wants a chassis? Four wheel drive, solid axles, Ford axles. Sale of the century right here, come get it. Oh, I did I, I did bounce out of work earlier today because we need to get rid of this scrap. There's a semi-secure load here. I mean, it's not going anywhere for the most part. That seat's held in. This is kind of holding in the side here. That's a, that's fine. Everything back here, this door's not going anywhere, I don't think. No, that's all secure. Seatbelt's fine. Carpet looks a little iffy, but it'll be okay. It all counts, folks. It all counts. We need some money back. That's the gas tank off the Ford car, the hood. This ain't going anywhere. That's mediocre. We're looking good. I'm not even... That's fine. That's attached. I'm, you know... 75% sure it's all gonna make it there, which is, you know, that's a C. I'm fine with that. If you saw that load on the trailer and thought, mm, that guy should probably take some back roads and not the main roads to get to the scrap, to get to the scrap dump, you'd be right. I should, and uh, I am, because I ain't no dummy. The great thing is, I got half the body in front of the trailer. So I can't see what's falling off the back of the trailer. It works out pretty good. Ignorance is bliss, I think, is how the saying goes. I'm sure it's probably fine. That's actually where I picked the truck up from over here. Right here. Is that circle of life? Once once was, is now gone? Is that a haiku? I don't freaking know. Well, I just want to let everybody know we made her. Nice and safe and sound with a complete load. Well, as far as I can tell anyways, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's all still back there. Not even, came a little concerned, but it's fine. Man, if I worked at one of these places, I'd come home with so much cool stuff all the time. Holy cow, I bet these guys see a lot of awesome stuff. Just look at, look at the pile of parts just all laying over there. Make sure I got my blinders on and we just focus on task at hand. And that is getting rid of stuff, not finding more stuff. Look at that motor. Look how big that thing is. Holy hell, got turbos down. Oh my goodness, what is that for? Focus, Simon, focus. Oh, there's another one. That one's a little rougher. Those gotta be like 
boat engines or freaking train engines or something holy crap those things are huge he's gonna use this cool contraption to get me unloaded here i'm just it's just oh it just it hurts and i just can't take it all home Ain't gonna lie, I was hoping for a little bit more, but we got about 140 bucks. Uh, wasn't worth all the effort I went through to get to that $140, but it was all garbage. It wasn't salvageable. It wasn't like I could sell the body off some other way. It had been rolled over. The seats were all garbage. It was all just garbage. Uh, so at least I didn't have to pay to get rid of it, and that 140 bucks goes back in the budget. Ka-ching! I mean, that'll probably buy me five bolts, but it's still it's still money back in the budget either way, no matter how you look at it, small or big, it's, it's small. Yeah.